In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the new awesome pop-up feature in High Level. The potential for this is amazing. This is really, really, really cool. I'm gonna take you through it, I'm gonna show you how to use it. Um, and I'm gonna show you uh, how to transition, because this is just on beta right now. And so it, if you're watching this while it's still on beta, I'm gonna show you what you have to look out for and how you can make sure it transitions properly across. And if it's not on beta, I'm gonna show you how um, once it's up and, uh, up and running fully, you can use this. And there's loads of potential and we potentially look at some advanced strategies later on as well. Now, if you like this, if this do me a favor right now, just smash that like button, smash that like button. Please subscribe to this channel as well. Um, put some comments, share it, all that good stuff. That would be awesome. Okay, let's dive right in. I'm here in a high level test account. Uh, where I've just set up a test account. Uh, let me just move my face down, down here. So I've come here to sites and I've come to forms. Um, so let, let me just back out. So we're just in the builder in forms. And I've got a pop-up test form. It's just, I've done nothing special. I put full name, uh, email and phone number uh, and, um, uh, and a button. I've put no extra code, no, no anything. We're just gonna save our form, make sure it's all saved. Then we're gonna click integrate form. Um, now this is where it's different. Now, as a reminder, you've got to be on the beta. If you're logging into your white label, if you're logging into high level as normal, you will not see this unless you're watching this later on and this is active and it's been rolled out. So um, go check your account. If this comes up in, in normal like this, instead of how you would normally integrate a form, then this is live now and don't worry about it. But if you're not seeing this, then you need to log in to beta, B-E-T-A dot gohighlevel.com to access this. Doesn't matter if you're on white label. Um, and then you're gonna need to do the 2FA to get in if you're not normally logged into the beta. Uh, and I always recommend do the text 2FA and we tell all our clients do the text because it comes through much quicker. Sometimes the email one gets lost. So that's just a quick tip to get in quickly to your account. Now look at all these different options. So um, we're gonna look at them one by one. So um, let's start here with inline, because this is where the normal form sits. This is, this is basically your normal form. You're gonna, we're gonna have these settings, always show, always activated, never deactivated. So you're always gonna see the form there. This is gonna be where, how you're gonna have, this is just your normal form, putting it in as you normally would. Now, um, let's look at a few of these options because then these then stay mostly the same for uh, all of the uh, other pieces. So trigger types, so what happens? So we could show this and, and lots of these aren't really so applicable for the inline form, but we can show this um, after they scroll for a certain percent. So after they scroll a certain way down the page, if after they scroll 50% down the page, uh, for example, that's gonna come. Or we can show, and this is good for more the pop-ups, uh, um, like these these other aspects. We can show it after, you know, uh, um, uh, 20 seconds. Someone who's been on the page for a while, they're probably interested in our content. Now we can show uh, our pop and do it. Or we can have it, which you probably would for most inline pieces, always show. Um, although we, there's gonna be a lot of people come up with creative uses um, for all of this. Now, activation options. Do we activate it on uh, um, their first visit or their second visit? Uh, or their third visit, or is this always going to going to be there? And deactivation options, De you know, like we don't want to upset people potentially if we're smacking this pop up every time. After we've shown this, you know, four times, do we want to just stop showing this pop up? They're obviously getting frustrated, but they're still coming back to our content. Um, so do we want to potentially deactivate it after that? Or do we deactivate it once a lead is is collected? So once they filled it out, if they come 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 back to this page and come back to this page we don't we don't need to show it to them again let them let them keep reading our blog posts our, our our content whatever it is we've already collected them well do we never deactivate and do we always have have this here um and this works what this can work well for for inline forms hey fill out our form to 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 get more as well but we'll just not show that form if um we've already collected that lead you know, that works well, particularly, you know, if you might drop it, you know, have a blog blog post, we've got some info on the blog, then we've got our form uh, um, to say, find out find out more, subscribe, you know, but if they're already subscribed because they've already filled out the form, we could just not even show that form. You know, so that there are still potential, some, some great options um, there uh, uh, for it. So that's inline. Here's a pop-up form, and, and, and underneath these, it, it says it, it, exactly what it, what it does. It doesn't overlay, can't be closed or minimized. Um, you know, that's our standard inline form. 
pop-up. Um, so this is different for the pop-ups on, on funnels and websites. We're going to put this in natively with a code. And I'm going to show you where to put the code, how to make it work, and what to look for in that code um, as well. So that pop-up shows form as an overlay inside a light box. It cannot be minimized, but uh, um, but it can be closed. So once it's closed, though, um, that's closed. So for instance, this is a good one to do after a percentage of scrolling or, um, or, or time on the page. Uh, um, uh, and we can activate it on so many visits or activate it and you know our, our, our same settings we've 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 got here uh, and I'll talk about an advanced strategy with the um, pop-up um, as well so now we can get pop-up after a certain time to do it we're not going to use the pop-up on the funnel we're not going to use a pop-up on the on the website we're going to use um, the we're going to use this special code with this form pop-up super super cool instead we're just going to paste this 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 code in um, uh, and use that now polite slide in so um, look what this does a polite slide in appears on the um, bottom side of the screen and disappears once once closed um, and we can allow people to minimize that form or it's always going to be there. So, you know, so for instance, after they've been um, on the page after 20 seconds, we might slide this in and politely say, hey, you know, join our email list, get more information, whatever it is. We can allow them to minimize it. And, and then what happens is basically down here, there's a little tab. So, you know, perhaps we want to, um, if we're going to do that, maybe we'll put something like subscribe. Um, in, in, in there so they can go, hey, I read all that content. It is pretty good. I am might subscribe you know or, or uh, you know get more info now or whatever I might yeah actually I am interested now and they can come back and click it for that form then we've got a sticky sidebar and again they've got the allow minimize bit in just the same way so again we can switch here whether that's going to be on the left or the right uh, sticky sidebar will appear on the side of the screen and can be minimized um, to a tab that sticks to the side of the window um, so let's just take um, our inline form uh, um, to begin with. We'll take a, a look at that. And what we do here is we just click copy embed code. That's it. We copied it to the um, to the clipboard. Now we're going to kind of jump over to a funnel where we've got it here. I already uh, put one in, but let's just replace it. And this is what it looks like initially. And see how the, it's all in line here. So I'm going to click yes, save. I'm going to come back and look at this code. Let me just show you again. Now that it's saved, none of it's in those um, line like, like that it's all here don't worry that still works absolutely fine that's just uh, uh, being more efficient in pasting that in here now this bit's important this is a bit that I want to show you this is a bit that one of the developers uh, uh, literally um, just messaged me showed me and talked to me uh, um, about now they might be changing this by the time you got this now look at this link this link here is important now it wasn't working for me they were using our um, API domain on this and it wasn't fired properly so they've now switched it and we're, we're still in the beta to a beta link here and um, one developer told me don't worry everything's going to carry over but that's when they were using the API domain which wasn't fine properly so now they've put a high level link in here and they've got the um, beta piece here if you've got that he has told me once they move this over from beta into full production it's going to stop working and so we've got to come back and re-grab the code and put it in so I would just come here depending on what point you're watching this video just come and come and check this if it were if they've moved it back to the API domain it should be fine but just know that if you're on beta you might need to come back you might need to grab the code and put it in again so you know, start getting ready with this um, they don't expect it to be in beta for too long um, but just know um, that there could be an issue rolling from beta to live um, with this aspect here so I'm gonna click Save um, and I'm going to click preview. When we click preview, it automatically saves it, you see, as well. And um, that's great. Now, let's just go and remind ourselves what we did. We did inline show after 20 seconds. So uh, in, a, in 20 seconds, I, I should have done a bit quicker on the, uh, on the code that we did, but we picked that up. So after 20 seconds, it's always going to be activated, never going to um, deactivate it, and our inline form is going to do it. So let me just pause. Uh, oh, in fact, here we go. There it is. It came in after 20 seconds. There's our form. And of course, we can put all, any CSS to quickly look at our form, make a much nicer page, but I, I was just putting a test in, in here. Now let's go and see what a pop-up looks like. And um, let's just change this to, we're going to show after five seconds, it's going to be always activated and we'll, we'll never deactivate it. So I'm going to copy that embed code, just going to come in here and I'm just go, going to paste the new code in as well. And it, it, the code is cool and really simple. They've got just these, you know, all these, these different options here 
they just put that in the code and they turn it on look and I, I know I can actually come here look see remember we said five seconds so if I just want to quickly just decide hey five seconds is wrong I want to change this to 10 I can quickly I can just change that figure now uh, um, it's it's su super simple how that, how that how they've done it so it's really similar code um, for all of them so they've, so they've done this really well um, so I'm going to save that I'm going to preview it which will make it save here let's take a look so um, the, the page is, is still loading here, but after uh, five seconds, um, fingers crossed, um, this is going to, and boom, there we go. Um, there's our pop-up, super, super cool. Um, that, that came in, and I can minimize that. Let's go and look at a polite slide in. Uh, I'm just going to bring this down a few seconds, give it some more. Remember, we put the get more, more info, and we can decide uh, which side we want. Uh, we'll leave that on the right. Let's copy that embed code and let's take a look at this one. Um, and I'm going to dive in um, shortly to um, talking about some advanced strategies that uh, well that we can use, and I'll probably make a, another video in the future of some of the cool stuff. Ah, sometimes I get that pop-up block come up, so I just hit preview again, and here we go. So. Um, we give it a few seconds and boom, there it is. And now look, see how we can minimize it here. So if I hit that minimize button, look, get more info now, it comes back up. I can fill out my info. You see, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and let's see where we're we at. And let's do the sticky one. Um, yeah, let's have this one on the on the left. Let's not allow the minimize. We're going to keep that there the whole time. Um, and let's just uh, always have that one on. We'll copy that embed code. And we'll come in here. I'll just select all and paste it in. We'll save, and we'll preview. Uh, we'll preview that. And let me move my head. And there we go over here. It's here. And what you can't see, but maybe you can see a little bit as this moves, because I just have nothing on the page. As I scroll, you see how this bit's going up, but this bit's staying staying where it is as well. Um, so that's really cool. Now. If you've been following some of the high-level um, new releases, is you will know that there are a couple of things. So, I mean, there's going to be so many use cases, so many use cases you can get here. But one of the recent things in the last few weeks, uh, maybe a bit longer, is they have released the ability to um, natively host videos for, for funnels for websites, which is really, really cool. We used to have to put them on YouTube or Vimeo or, you know, people put it on Wistia or where, wherever you had your videos. Now you can upload them directly into high level. But what's really cool about that is that now, because they're natively held there, high level are able to track the views um, that you're having. So you can then fire workflows based off um, view percentage. So for instance, if someone views 70% of the video, you can um, you, you can do X if they've done that. So that's really cool. But the other thing that's really cool that you can combine that and you can combine this and work on it is you can s stick a pop-up over the video. Say, so let's say you've got a 10 minute video that's sharing some amazing content. And you can go and you know that there's a really cool bit that you're about to show on the screen at four minutes 47. Um, so, um, or you know, let's say, let's say at the uh, four minute mark. Um, just just after that uh, for easy easy math so in, in we can now put a trigger for a pop-up that's going to show um, 6 12 18 24 so four minutes is 240 seconds we now bring a pop-up over the top and then um, what, what we do is we add a little bit of custom CSS that's going to remove the ability um, um, for them to X out of it. So that's going to stay over the screen. So we can now start using all this stuff all together. And now suddenly we've got some gated content. We've got gated content that they need to subscribe in order to then go and see the next bit of that video that's already playing, for example, and things like that. There's some really, really cool options, uh, some advanced strategies. There's going to be a lot of great marketers that are going to have some really, really great advanced strategies with all this. So it's really, really cool. There's so many potentials. Imagine putting putting these on, on, on blog posts Posts, particularly if you've got some some high quality content with a polite slide in uh, um, or the, the sticky sidebar you know and you can and the sticky sidebar can be a bit intrusive because if you're going to keep it there the whole time but you, you know if you do the allow minimize 
um, you can have it there and again you know only show on scrolling after a certain percent or after you know a certain time um, then that's that's really cool and the fact that we can do these these other things that we activate only on so many visits so we're only going to get somebody who we know has seen you know so much of our content or and deactivate after showing so much or deactivate once a lead is collected so we're not going to uh, um, upset and annoy you know people that have already subscribed that have already got this I mean so so cool what we can do with this so there, there's loads of potential out there um, to do this so if you're not using this definitely recommend getting in giving it a bit of a test like I'm doing you know I, I literally just made made a funnel page with nothing but a, a headline and then 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 a form to test it on um, so really really cool get in there test it out make all of that happen now, if you are not on the high-level SaaS plan, if you're interested in building a scaling your own SaaS business, please make sure you come and check out theprofitpact.com. There is a ton of free training. We are giving out the most comprehensive training, support, resources, snapshot uh, um, out of anybody out there at all. They say give your free stuff or your best stuff away for free. We are giving it all away. Come and join our Facebook group, get our free course, upgrade um, through us whether you're current, if you're not on um, high level at all, then we will teach you to build and scale your own SaaS business. If you are, upgrade through us as well. We will give you all of this for free. This is, this is better and more stuff than people that are charging two, three, four, five grand um, for their, their, their paid packages. We're giving it all away. Um, it's free. Come to this page, theprofitpack.com, and check it out. And please, um, whether you're doing that or not, I would love it if you uh, like this video, uh, maybe drop a comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Um, that would be awesome. And don't forget, have an awesome day.